Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning. It's before dawn. And this week, I got something kind of interesting and cool about my family. So, in my hands here, as you can tell by the ancient look of this paper, I have a family tree. And it starts off, it was written or put together by, she is my, let's see, my great grandmother's sister's child. So, like, great fucking great grand cousin, great great grand aunt, something like that. I don't know exactly. But, Starts off, why have I written this? It says, Elsa Jones in a letter to me, January 8th, 1968, quote, what information do you have? Hang on. Hey, How's it going? Tell him to him, bye. Sure. No problem. Let's do it. Sorry about that. But yeah, anyway, uh, what information do you have on the Jones genealogy? I sure wish I had some of it. Also, Ed Sandstrom once said, I don't know much about the family. Someday, I want you to tell me something about my ancestors. So I began not knowing just what I would write or how to begin. The early names and dates I have taken for my membership in the DAR, which is the Daughters of the American Revolution. She joined the Lois, Louis Joliet chapter in 1923. And the evening of January 1st, 1926. Well, that's cool. It's actually coming up. Freaking. I asked my mother to tell me what she called or what she could of my grandmother Jones's family. She wasn't interested in doing this, never as never one who dwelt on the past or even was especially interested in antiques. Her interests were always in the present or future. She told me I'd better answer some of the letters I owed rather than write about the past. However, with pencil and notebook in hand, I began to ask questions and jotted down what I could. Could get her to tell me. After a time, I saw she was becoming too weary, so she went to bed. But January 2nd and 3rd, I continued. What I have written about the Gleason family is mostly from the notes taken then. Some of the dates were verified from a handmade notebook of Aunt Lucy Gleason's, which is about 100 years old. And mind you, this was written in 1960, 1970-something. Um, Ed and Mary Jones have given much help and encouragement, and uh, Mary worked diligently in securing the dates of the great and great-great-grandchildren, which actually I'm one of those great-great-grandchildren. Ed and Mary Jones are my great-grandparents. They're the ones, I'm going to show you the map in a second. But anyway, these records were finished May, March 25th, 1968. Three copies were made, one each for Ed Jones, Elsa Jones, and Ed Sandstrom. My copy comes from the Ed Jones copy, and then just signed Florence L. Ketchum. Um, like I said, I never actually met the woman. She died before I was born. I just learned some vague recollections from my mom and stuff. Let's see here. Alright. But... Included it has several pages of type, just info about the family. It's actually very interesting. They actually started out in New York, go figure, and then traveled by boat over the Great Lakes to Illinois and eventually settled on a farm there, which I'm going to show you the map. If I can find it. Somewhere in here. There it is. But yeah, it's the map that's uh, Ridge Road, and the house I know is no longer standing. I believe it's a soybean field now, if I'm not mistaken. But my grandparents were, or my great grandparents were still alive and living in the house when I was born. And I think the last time I was there, I was maybe like six ish or so. I just have some vague, vague recollections of the farmhouse and stuff. 
but it's pretty cool. It's a um, town area near Manuka, Illinois, outside of Chicago. And then the super cool thing I really, really wanted to show was this. All right, so. We got all the way back to 1699. And then when you come to here, this man Lemuel Barnes, he's my great, 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 great grandfather. I'll just read that. Lemuel Barnes, also given Samuel, Stockbridge, Private and Captain Moses Ashley's Company, Colonel Joseph Vosis, 14th Regiment, Massachusetts Militia, Continental Army, pay accounts for service from February 20th, 1777 to December 31st, 1779. Credited to town of West Stockbridge, also return of men in service before August 16, 1777. Reported March to Peekskill, also master roll dated camp at Valley Forge, January 6, 1778. Anybody knows about Valley Forge and stuff, that's fucking pretty cool. And enlistment three years. Also Captain Hancock's company, Colonel Vosis Regiment, Continental Army pay accounts for service from January 1st, 1780 to February 20th, 1780. And says, see also Massachusetts soldiers and sailors of Revolutionary War, compiled from archives by Secretary of Commonwealth of Massachusetts. But... I mean, you got to give this woman credit, man. This was back in the day. This was before, like, Ancestry.com and shit and the internet and all that. Like, she had to go dig through fucking records and all sorts of stuff to compile all this. But goes all the way back to 1699. Actually, even further. But just all my uh, great, great, great grand aunts and uncles and then we get down here to my great grandparents and my grandmother er yeah and then there's my mother right there all the way down at the bottom that sucks I still haven't wrote in the date of death yet on there I actually got to do that one of these days but still as you can see, I'm getting a little choked up. Uh, what else? Uh, there's one page. There we go. And they can trace the trace it far back to the Nye family of Denmark. Um, all the way, there's a rumor that he was the descendant of Harold Blautland, who died in 958. That's pretty fucking, that's freaking over a thousand years ago, man. Crazy. And you got all the brothers and stuff. But then flip it over to this next page, and we got... Jonathan, our ancestor, and it's just more about what they did, and I hear there are others that fought in the revolution and were actually at Valley Forge with Washington, which is fucking super cool. Like, I never freaking realized this growing up and learning that in school and about Valley Forge and stuff. Shit, man, I'm related to people that were actually fucking there. And then... Let's see, in a lot of this minutia here, there's several typewritten pages. Um, lost a couple great-great-granduncles in the California gold rush in 1849. Um, just a whole lot of stuff. Like, it's interesting to read about what people thought was fucking what they wanted to tell the future generations and whatnot. It's just super cool. And anyone I've showed it to is always like, damn, that's awesome. I fucking never, uh, don't know anybody that can actually trace their family back. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Like my mother's 
like a lot of my great grandparents actually came to America via Ellis Island in the early 1900s, but then I have that side, which is the, all of this stems from my mother's mother's, like going back from my mom's to her mom's and then back. And that's the side of the family that's been here since the beginning. So, yeah. It was pretty cool. A little rambly long message. Kind of fucking got a little choked up because I was thinking about my mom and stuff. But, yeah, pretty cool. I actually fucking might look into joining the, uh, whatever. I think it's the Sons of the Revolution or what have you. I don't know. Just super cool. Not many people can do that. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.